So three business goals for your business in 2020. So the first business goal um, that I base uh, my business on is the uh, Dream 50, I call. So every year we target a Dream 50 client list of companies uh, or businesses that we want to create partnerships with. So um, if you're going to grow your business for 2020, I recommend building a Dream 50. Um, it was part of um, a book from Chet Holmes um, that I've recommended in the past, uh, The Ultimate Sales Machine. And that's all around building the Dream 50. And then I'm planning out over the 12 month campaign, what different touch points I'm going to have with that customer or potential client over the 2020 period. So it might be different bits of value contents, so sending them videos, maybe letters, maybe inviting them to events, um, sending books like different ways to engage with um, the Dream 50 and the target for that um, I'll be happy with probably converting five to ten of those clients over the course of the year into uh, paying customers of, of our business um, so that's the first one I'd recommend is building that Dream 50 because actually writing it down and having a plan and commitment um, it's surprising how much um, in your subconscious mind it attracts those clients anyway um, I've had previous stories where I've grew the business in year two or three and we actually wrote down all of the customers we wanted to work with in the following year and how much revenue that would generate and we locked it up, put it in a drawer and uh, unveiled it at the, at the year end and it was amazing about, I would say, 80 to 90% of it was correct in terms of the clients we actually got to work with and the actual revenue that produced pretty much down to a T. So I'm a massive believer in uh, law of attraction and um, actually just setting those expectations around um, who you want to attract into your business. So that would be um, my first tip. Tip number two is um, creating a one page strategic plan. So a little bit I've started filling hours on for 2020 here. Um, and that is from a book called Scaling Up, which I think I've recommended in the past. Um, so basically on here, we would have our one year goals. So what is the um, revenue target for next year? What's the profit from that going to be? Um, how much cash do we want in the bank by the end of the year? Um, and what is our revenue per employee? So getting out your exact revenue and sharing it by how many employees you have. Um, and that's going to be your target in terms of uh, your goal for 2020. Um, and then going into your three to five year goals. So our future dates, November 2022, um, our revenue and profit and what we want to get to. So hopefully in, uh, our three year plan is to get a six million pounds revenue is one of our big targets. And then from there, you've got your action points. So what um, actions and key initiatives in the next year priorities that you need to achieve. Um, so for us, building a really predictable sales funnel to generate new new business is one of them. Um, getting the business operation to run with our gyms every day, I keep saying, would be really nice. Um, it's easier said than done, though, even though in this book makes it sound easy. Um, one of the books as well that I've just started rereading again for probably the fourth time is by Gina Wickman. That's a book called Traction. Brilliant book. Um, I think they've got three in the series. Um, Get a grip. I think it's another one we we uh, use in Rocket Fuel. Um, so they're very similar to the Scaling Up book, um, and that's all around um, having uh, you're meeting the key people, uh, persons of influence in your business. Um, you've got a few templates in here as well around how you would deal with your quarterly rocks. So it breaks it into ninety day plans. Um, and what rocks that you would have within that time that you need to overcome and then putting everything back to your vision um, in the process. Um, the thing I took away from that was on page 116 is the scorecard. So we have like a, um, I think it's, it's got like a company scorecard in there. Um, so we actually create one. So I've got uh, my office manager, she creates that every week for us. Um, and we customize that on a Google Sheet so I know where we are as a business every single week what good weeks and bad weeks so we can see actually on the pulse in terms of how the business is progressing so that would be my second uh, tip is uh, 
creating a one page strategic plan. You can actually pick these up for free on uh, the Scaling Up website. You can actually download these as templates, so they're quite cool. Um, and then you break it into like action points for each quarter as well. So that's something I'd recommend. Tip number three um, in growing your business for 2020 would be for me is making sure you target yourself between three to five meetings every single week with potential prospects. So I always target myself to have at least three key meetings, whether they are face to face with one of my Dream 50, uh, or at least a uh, video call or video demo with our clients. So I always target myself in that mindset and I split out my week between a Tuesday and Thursday or what I call focus days. And those focus days um, that I learned from uh, a program called Strategic Coach, Dan Sullivan, um, that taught me to make sure those focus days is just winning new business. So it's all about revenue generating tasks. So nothing administrational, uh, nothing operational in the business. Tuesdays and Thursdays are mainly just for generating cash. So for me as a growing business owner, I'm still out there um, trying to win new business on bigger projects. So I target myself uh, trying to get three in front of three hiring heads or three clients every single week. Um, so I would say if you do that consistently in your business to grow, um, you can do all of those other shiny things because I do get distracted all of the time. But as long as I'm having my three meetings a week, I know I'm helping drive my business forward. So linking your, your step one, which is your dream 50, um, in with having three meetings a week um, is really important. And linking that back to your one page strategic plan and knowing where you want to get to next year and then breaking that down into quarterly goals and rocks. Um, those are my top three business tips uh, for growing your business in 2020. So if you enjoyed that, um, whether you're watching this on LinkedIn or YouTube, feel free to subscribe, like, comment. I'm really keen to hear from um, other uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, that uh, what you're doing in your business for 2020 um, and share it down below. Thank you. Hi, thanks for watching today's video. If you like what you've seen, uh, please like and subscribe the button with Entrepreneur Jim so you keep up to date with all of the updated videos. If you've got any questions or comment, um, I'd love to hear from you. So please uh, drop a comment in Entrepreneur James below and we'll look to answer those on a weekly Q&A video. Keep an eye out for any future videos that we'll be posting. I'll be popping the video in here probably every one or two days. Thank you.